in such a powerful way. Ever since that day, my life changed. Ever since that day, the Holy Spirit, the Lord Jesus, the Father became real to me. It was the baptism of the Holy Spirit. My friends, the baptism of the Holy Spirit is not just speaking in tongues or prophesying. It's when the Holy Spirit gets all of you. It's when He gets all of you. My friends, to be filled with the Holy Spirit, you need to be empty. Does someone get that? To be filled with the Holy Spirit, you need to be empty. Empty yourself. It's called surrender. Ah, surrender. Oh, we, we sing that song, but do we really mean it? To really surrender all your life to Him. Because it's when the vessel is empty that He'll fill it up till it overflows. Is someone with me? Ever since that day, the Holy Spirit became real to me. And I was transformed. Because that's what the Holy Spirit does. He transforms you. And after He transforms you, He empowers you to announce the gospel. And a lot of Christians, sons of pastors, musicians, they, they and they are Christians. You guys stop at salvation, but there's more. There's more than just being saved. Listen, Christianity is not a get out of hell type of thing. Christianity is not to get out of hell, but it's to get back in that, in that relationship with the Father. And that relationship with the Father is through Jesus Christ. And who leads you to Jesus Christ? It's the Holy Spirit. The problem in this generation is we don't seek the Holy Spirit. The Word of God says in John chapter 1 verse 10 or 11, I believe, Jesus was in the world and the world was created by Him but the world did not know Him. The disciples were with Jesus day in and day out but everything that Christ was saying was not real to, him, to them. They won't understand they weren't understanding what the world was saying to them. We were talking about, I'll be crucified, I'll resurrect. They did not understand because the Holy Spirit is not there. Listen, for Jesus to be real in your life, to have an intimacy with the, with, with the Lord Jesus Christ, meet the Holy Spirit. Listen, it takes God to know God. A man cannot know God. But Jesus said, it's better that I go because he sent on the Holy Spirit. Ever since that day, I did research, I studied my Bible on how I can become so intimate with the Holy Spirit. Because understand this, guys. Jesus did not perform one miracle without the Holy Spirit. 